to write a program, we should have some constructs to control the flow of the program execution. In next few slides, we would discuss various control flow constructs available in C language. Let's begin with a basic one. The if, else statement. It's used to express decisions, the way we use in our verbal language. The normal syntax is given here. The expression enclosed in the if bracket is evaluated to determine which part of the if, else statement will be executed. If the expression evaluates to true, then the statement enclosed by the if part, that is, statement 1 is executed, then the control jumps to statement 3, skipping the else part. If the expression is not true, then the statement 2 is executed followed by statement 3, skipping the if part. So basically, the if else statement helps us to execute either statement 1 or statement 2 based on the expression. This can be used to implement simple control flows in your program based on logical conditions. Please note that the else part is not compulsory. Every if statement need not have an else part, but every else statement should have an if statement. In the previous slide, we saw how if else statement can be used. But it can be used only if there is one expression based on which the decision has to be taken. But there might be cases where there can be more than one expression to decide what needs to be executed. In that case, we can go for else if statements. The normal syntax is given here. The expression 1, enclosed in the if statement is evaluated first. If it evaluates to true, then the statement 1, enclosed in the if statement is executed, and then the control jumps out of the whole if statement, that is, it jumps to statement 4. If the expression 1 is not true, then it goes to the next condition that is expression 2. If that is true, then it executes the statement 2, and jumps to statement 4. If expression 2 is also not true, then it goes to the else part, and executes the statement 3 and continues. Basically only one set of statements are executed based on the expression, that evaluates to true first. There is no limit in how many else if, statements you can add to if statement. Add the else if statement as much as required based on number of expressions that you have. Note that else part is again not necessary here. Only if you have a statement that needs to be executed if all the expressions are false, then else part is required else it can be skipped. In the previous slide, I mentioned that the if else statement can be used in nested fashion too. I want to spend some time on nested statements to show that how important it is to use brackets with if else statement. As we know, if the statement within if or an else construct is just one line of code, then the brackets are not necessary. By default, these constructs assume that one line of code after the if or an else statement is within its block. In the example given here, the second if statement is within the first if statement and the statement 2 is within the second if statement. As per the indentation, the developer assumes the else statement is associated with the first if statement. But it's not true. The actual interpretation by the compiler is shown on the right side. The else part is actually associated with the inner if statement. Such issues can happen easily, especially while using nested if statements. Hence I would always suggest you to use braces whenever you use any control flow constructs. It would be really tough to debug such issues. So try to avoid them at the first place itself. Let's look at an example for if else statement. Let's write a small function, max, which compares two numbers x and y, pass to it as parameters, and prints their greater number. There are three possibilities here. Either x is greater, or y is greater, or they are equal. Hence a simple if else may not be enough. We will have to use else if statement, because there are more than one expression and more than two outcomes. 
In the code, the if statement compares x greater than y. If true, it prints x is greater, and exits out of the whole if statement. Else it goes for next condition, that is y greater than x. If true, it prints that and goes out of the if statement. If none of the conditions are true, then both x and y are equal. As you can see, if else statements are not so difficult to use. Of course this program can be written using simple if-else statements too. I leave it to the users as an exercise.